Hey guys, welcome to the 2023 Dub Derby of Acadiana. I know we had some inclement weather a little bit early this morning uh, that prevented us from being at Marcus Park, but we're going to tell you how excited we are to host Dub Derby at our warehouse here where we serve so many people of Acadiana 365 days a year. My name's Paul Selfo, I'm the Chief Regional Director of Second Harvest Food Bank, and we're happy to host y'all for our 2023 Dub Derby of Acadiana. <laughs> Doug Derby's going to start in a little bit, but uh, real quick, I'd just like to thank some of the sponsors that were a part of making Doug Derby possible right here in Acadiana. I'd like to thank ASAP for the work that they did and the participation in Doug Derby. <laughs> Enterprise Renter Car, Mars Motors, KLFY. <laughs> kitchen, on, kitchen on Clinton. <laughs> Fitness, our Planet Fitness, Town Square Media, and Key Millen Chris, at this time, it's about time for that Doug Derby uh, drug. We still Running gotta do my drugs. sponsors, right? Can we go over this? Absolutely. Well, I'm Paul got everybody all hyped up. I mean, can I get a little bit of a round for the <laughs> Doug Derby? I get to get a little bit better. There. All right, so Caleb Y, I am meteorologist Chris Cozart. I do Pas Spot 2 and News 10 at noon, uh, Monday through Friday. We're a uh, proud partner, partner with the Second Harvest uh, for this fun event. Obviously, couldn't do it at Moncus Park, but we have a makeshift pond, and we're going to be picking one of these uh, with all the prizes uh, that we have been uh, talking about. And we're also fortunate to have plenty of prize donors. Thank you to Camellia Beans, Raising Canes, Katiana Cane Cutters, Jeremy Academies, Surge Entertainment, Moncus Park, Caroline and Company, Whataburger, all these, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Also want to say thank you to all the Second Harvest volunteers here and the staff who've helped make this a big event. Absolutely. All right, so we ready to do the drawing here? We are ready. This mom, the mic's not working 100%. All right, so we'll start with the 11th prize. We'll go from the bottom up here. It's a signed Super Bowl hat. It's drawn by the Duck Ambassador, Addy. Oh. All right! Here go, Addy. You want to do that? You want, you want to go back and forth? No. Nope. You can go back. All right. Tenth prize, a pair of UL watches. That's drawn by Dr. Liz Shavis of Creole Chiropractor. <laughs> All right. Ninth prize is from Camellia Beans, uh, drawn by Tim Viator. Viator? Viator. Viator, one of our dedicated volunteers. Eighth prize is a gift basket from Caroline and Company. I know my wife would like this one. Drawn by Duck Ambassador Shira. Seventh prize is a membership from Monkus Park. Drawn by our volunteer, Janice Thomas. Oh my God. That's, went all out for that one. <laughs> Are you okay? That's a new All right. That's a All right. New that's called swimming Just, with the ducks. That's it. Yeah, swimming with the ducks on that one. Sixth prize from the Acadiana King Cuts, Cutters. It's going to be drawn by Corey from Kitchen on Clinton. There you go, Corey. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> Christopher Edney from Planet Fitness will pick the winner of our fifth prize. That's a birthday package at Surge Entertainment. Here we go. Oh. All right, Chris. All right. Fourth prize from Whataburger, drawn by Duck Ambassador Brandon Ortiz. Oh, Brandy Ortiz, excuse me. There. 
Dana Topham, our board members, is drawing our third prize, a year of classes from Jeremy Dance Academy. <laughs> Second prize, Raisin Canes for a year. That's going to be Chris Stevens from Canes to join us today. That's the Raisin Canes for a year. Is that the box combo with no slaw extra toast or what? All right, anything we want. All right. Don't get the extra slaw, though. All right. And then I am drawing the grand prize. Should you be introducing on that one? I don't The grand prize, $5,000. Unbelievable. Right. Here, I'll hold I've, some of these mics for me. All right, I think I got it. That's one right. fast up. $5,000. Who's going to get it? Yeah. It's whoever was in the middle here. Yeah. All right, I got you. All right. It's been a, a heck of a day, but really we want to thank Acadiana for coming out and supporting us, Chris. Each one of these ducks represents a $5 donation by somebody right here in Acadiana. Every duck donated provides over uh, 20 meals that we'll be able to put right back into the community, Chris. So really, there's no, uh, there's no losers in this. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a part of it. And let me tell you the work. I just want to say how KLFY has been so gracious to us to be able to get this message out to the community. And as you see, the community's been able to respond fantastically. I would say so. Uh, plenty of ducks here. Like you said, $5 per duck or five meals per duck, basically. Uh, 20, right? meals per 20, duck. 20 meals per duck. 20 meals per duck. It was $5 a duck, but 20 meals per duck. So you can just imagine how many meals uh, that this provided to everybody across Acadia. And a really great cause for sure here, Paul. Absolutely. Um, thank you very much. Thank y'all guys very much for being a part of it. I know we've asked y'all guys to do a lot, but one more time, I would just like to say every meal that we distribute, every meal that we put out in the community, whether it be a prepared meal, whether it be a box of food, um, is touched by a volunteer. Hmm. And these, some of these representatives right here, right here represent over 100,000 hours of volunteer work that people are contributing to Second Harvest Food Bank. And we just want to thank Acadiana for their participation in helping Second Harvest be a part of uh, the community, be a part of reaching uh, people in need and being able to help them. Um, so, Chris, we really appreciate, like I said, KLFY hey, for you no, coming no, out on a Saturday. No, it was no problem at all. We appreciate it. Uh, I mean, we've been talking about this for a few months, so it's yeah. hard to believe the day's finally here. Absolutely. And we all have the names now, and we're, we're going to be naming, uh, releasing some of the names here, at least the first name and last letter here uh, very shortly once they check all the numbers, right? Absolutely. Just making sure that all the numbers are corresponding. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll do the announcement here shortly. But again, the, uh, the true benefit of Second uh, or Duck Derby, the true benefit of it is what we're able now to be able to give back to the community. It's once again where Second Harvest has said, hey, we can do something a little bit different. We can help people in the community by getting them involved in an event like Duck Derby, but as well being able to help people who are food insecure. And that's what it's all about, being, help, being able to help those people for whatever reason that uh, might be having a little uh, struggle at this time. A great cause for sure right here with the, the many different charities of Acadiana, but we like to you know promote this one just as much here uh, at Kale of Y. And hopefully the weather next year, if we do it again next year, well, I'm sure it's uh, next year that we can actually do it at Monkis Park and have all the rubber ducks go out in the lake. That would be race. really cool. Yeah, the get, get their true yeah. race uh, going here at Monkis Park. One thing, though, okay, going all right. Away, I think they're coming up here with the numbers shortly, but... Uh, uh, did you have a good time? I had a blast. I, I really did. It's uh, it's a unique thing, the way we did it this year. Definitely unique. Uh, very familiar with the Duck Derby. Uh, I, I, from my old town, Cincinnati, it was uh, the Rubber Duck Regatta, and they would actually have them go down the Ohio River. So very familiar with this type of charity. And it's a good one. And, and, and Acadiana came uh, for sure with this one and all the ducks that were bought this year. I mean, you, uh, we're literally swimming in them and having to move around. That's how many ducks we've had this year. Absolutely. 
Well, guys, we've had plenty of uh, we've had plenty of support. We've had plenty of sponsorship. We've had plenty of volunteers and local community coming out to help us. It's all about helping folks in the community, and uh, these volunteers are absolutely a part of that. Our team members uh, coming out again to make it happen. It's a successful day, guys. We want to thank you for uh, tuning in, being a part of. Uh, Duck Derby 2023. We're definitely going to be seeing you next year. And if there's any, um, are we ready for the announcements? We got one more. I got the, the signal of one more. One more. So, one more minutes. Uh, <laughs> well, how, did more you more. enter in this, Paul? Are you nervous about this? Or did you enter a couple ducks in this? Well, let's let's just say I have some favorites. Oh, okay. Okay. Favorites. All right. Uh, uh, it won't be my name, but I have some favorites and everything. But again, it doesn't matter who wins at this point. I think Acadiana wins with the amount of uh, uh, donations we've had this year and the amount of work with, uh, Second Harvest and the local community has been, been able to do. So uh, take me through. I know we're already almost done with this year take me through the process of getting ready for next year uh, when does that start does that start tomorrow or do you kind of decompress a little bit and think about next year well it'll, it'll start real soon we'll start looking at it sometime in the fall where we start uh, deciding what's best for the community uh, reaching out we always reaching out to uh, sponsorships and other partners to be able to help us um, it'll start in, in, in a, a recap of this year and what we could do better and how we can make it more of an in uh, outreach and impact for the community. And um, again, like I said earlier, I'm just watching some of these volunteers around. None of this is possible without the help of uh, the volunteers that have said, hey, I can give up some time and I can be a part of this and make it happen. So it's a big thank you for those guys. I, and you just see just kind of the end product of it. it Almost takes, you say you start from the fall, so it takes, what, four, six months easily of hard work and everything for this just one day that uh, it was wrapped up in about 10 minutes, right? Absolutely. There's a lot of team members who have worked real hard for today. Uh, my heart goes out to them because we weren't able to do it at Monkers Park, but still the uh, the gist of the uh, and the uh, the excitement of the event came through, I think, today. So we're definitely, uh, definitely happy to... Uh, to be a part of it and to have that happen for us. And I believe we're going to be coming up with the name shortly. <laughs> they're just double checking and they're trying to get us to fill, Chris. Uh, I'm, I'm about ready to start talking about football. Well, we and could I'm talk kidding. about just about anything or talk about hurricane season. Uh, you got the weatherman here. I know that's something that everybody talks about. Let me ask you this. Okay. In, in terms of percentages and chances and sure, all that sure, and everything, sure. does it ever go where if we miss a year next year, uh, it's 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 random. There's no uh, every year is going to be different. Uh, every year is going to have a certain factor of what's going to be coming up. So this year, hopefully, you know, the predictions right now are that we're going to have a slightly below normal season because we actually have an El Nino popping up. It's been La Nina the last three years, and that's what's caused the very active hurricane seasons the last three years. And we were very fortunate last year. Uh, I think after 2020 and 2021, uh, our, the odds are better with us, you know, over the next several years that we may luck out. And, and this year, again, theoretically, we should have a, a below normal season. And if there's one thing that a family can do to prepare themselves for a hurricane or a potential hurricane in a hurricane prone area, what would that be going into the hurricane season? Well, just insurance is one thing. I know the insurance industry is crazy right now. That would be the one thing. But make sure you have your documents. I know that's another big one. Uh, you, uh, just have a little plan in place just in case. You never know what's uh, – it could just take one. We could have a very, very inactive season, but if one comes up that's strong enough and you have to do a quick evacuation, well, you better have every all your documents ready to go and so you can evacuate safely and, and with a plan. And always, always tune in to possible uh, – Well, of course. I mean, I hope so. I I hope I don't get it wrong too often. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, thank you guys again. I believe they're finishing up and uh I think we can just kind of hold off until they uh yeah, absolutely. get ready. It, it's it's gotta be pretty close. Yeah. Absolutely. We got some? Do we have a couple dames? Are we ready to go guys? <laughs> We have Here's your professional man. Oh, yeah. Save me a couple of times. What am I going to say next? Are, are we still live streaming though? Okay, so we still are live. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we'll be, uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll just wait for a second until the names are announced. And then once that happens, then we can go ahead and cut off. But I'll just go ahead and mute this mic for now.
both can do it? You want me to hold it for you? Uh, yeah, you can. One of them. Everybody can. Put, go in the middle here if we can. Always works like that, Paul. Once you, once you say stop, there we then go. everything's ready to go right after that. <laughs> So do you want to start with the 11th place prize and we'll go all the way up to the grand prize. Guys, 11th place, which is a friend of the food bank, Saints Hat, is going to be Bailey B. Bailey, we're going to be doing the Thank you for your contribution. All right, so again, the 10th uh, prize was a pair of UL watches and that will be William A has won that prize. Guys, the Camellia Be uh, Bean Ninth Prize will go to Kenny S. Kenny S, thank you for your contribution, Kenny. And then we have number eight, that's Caroline and Company. That will be, again, a basket from Caroline and Company. Eighth prize goes to Janet H. Guys, the seventh prize is that membership to Marcus Park, and it's going to go to Lindy B. Lindy B. Thank you, Lindy, for your contribution. Six prize. That was uh, the Acadiana Cane Cutters, and that will go to Davon L. Davon L. Fifth prize, guys, from Surge Entertainment. That's going to go to Misty A. Misty, thank you. Fourth prize, Whataburger, that's Diana D. That will be fourth prize. Third prize, guys, which is from Jeremy Academy. Miss Rebecca, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Susan S. Susan S., you won that membership at Jeremy Academy. Thank you so much, Susan. Then we have the Year of Canes. That was won by David K. Guys, at first prize place, at first prize winner, going to be getting a call from us real soon because they, they did not have to be present to win, is Catherine and Joseph P. $5,000. Thank you all, guys, for the uh, Doug Derby 2023 success. We appreciate the help and support we've had from uh, the local community, local volunteers, local sponsorships, and KLFY. Thank you all so much. I think you did a great job. Once again, that puts an end cap on the 2023 Acadiana Duck Derby. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Oh, yeah.